It has been a long time since this razor has been washed. It's filthy. <laughs> I know it's filthy. We haven't washed it since when? We haven't washed the razor in... I mean, an actual wash, it's been six months since we left St. Joe. Did you wash it really good but then? Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, it's been rinsed here and there. But it was but... full of dirt. Alright, we're going to do a deep cleaning. This thing is so filthy. Most of this is just, just powdery dust. That's what the desert does. There's a half eaten bone from a hair blackie. <laughs> That's funny. After I washed the razor, I put everything up. She took the dogs out back and I forgot to pick up that bone and Black, so, Blackie found it. Yeah, Blackie found it. And I didn't know what it was in his mouth and I don't let him just eat stuff they pick up off the ground. So I made him give it to me and he was so upset. Yeah, he and knew I, it was his. <laughs> he knew, he was like, man, I've been looking for that. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, it is not easy to find a car wash out west where you can wash your vehicles yourself they was mostly drive through we couldn't find anywhere to do the, the rig the razor not even the bike it was so dirty but over half of it was her dirt and i washed it by <laughs> myself while she painted on rocks Are awesome. Yeah, she did actually find somebody to sell the rocks for her that goes to a flea market every other weekend. Yes, shout out to Debbie Jones. Thank you so much for yeah. supporting us and helping us out. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, the seats just pop right out, so I'm going to clean around them and under them and take all this stuff out of the bed. I'm not going to go so far as to call it clean, but it is definitely cleaner than it was. It's not bad. I think it's good enough to go get dirty again. Now I'm going to take a shower. It's almost 90 degrees out here. So yeah, that razor is the main reason, pretty much, that we don't pull a car. Right. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's a blast to be able to go out on trails that you can't typically take even a truck or a Jeep sometimes. I love my seasonal decorations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can keep Candace's decorations out there. But I'm sure if we didn't have the trailer, you would find somewhere in this RV, she would have packed them <laughs> decorations in. I might be able to stash them somewhere. She, would, figure it out. she would have figured it out, guarantee it. <laughs> I have my RC jump in here. I have our zero gravity chairs. I have some extra wood. This is our laundry uh, rack to hang clothes. We have a fold up table. We have a cat carrier that folds up. I think this is where I'm going to get rid of this trash can. But extra gas. So this is the extra Honda 2E2000 quiet generator. I have a floor jack, a bottle jack. Some wheel chocks, or cool little army shovel. 
it turns into a pick. My jack stands. The razor windows hang on each side. Our tire covers are here. I keep two packed buckets of compost for the toilet. There's all kinds of stuff for the RV in there. I've got all the new black door latches that are going on. Got my saw over there. I've got extra 30 amp cable. The bike ramp. It's kind of a mess in here. We keep two extra jugs of water in here. The vacuum cleaner. A weed eater that I haven't used since we hit the road that I might get rid of. We've got our RC cars. There's Candace's. There's mine. Our helmets are right next to it. There is our grill. There's my oil can to change oils. And then down at the bottom is just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Screws, a saw, jumper cables. This three cabinet drawer here is all of Candace's decorations. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, I haven't really missed a car. Just depends on how you want to travel. What you want to do? Do you need a car? To us, it was just another expense. Yeah, and you know, we get by on the bike. I mean, we can go just about anywhere. You can take a car. All right, we're gonna get out of here. We will be getting out of St. Joe very, very soon. All we're, we're waiting for one small appointment. Mm -hmm. It has something to do with the RV that's gonna be very cool, we think. <laughs> so keep watching guys subscribe below if you haven't yes we will be on the road again very soon and it's going to be hopefully exciting so exciting it'll be fun <laughs> it'll be fun <laughs> even if i gotta work yeah all right we'll see you next time thanks for watching guys Okay, now we're gonna leave. We're just gonna kind of lead into the trailer. Couch inserts. Yeah, this couch. Oh, never inserts. mind. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like thinking.